some girls will approach me after after our set and they'll be like you know oh is that your is that your girlfriend or they'll go up to stars and say is that your is that your boyfriend you know maybe they're a little bit interested or whatever but then also nowadays we get a lot of girls that are quite interested in stars as well actually like in that way you know because <laughs> You know, shout out all the gay community. Yeah. But yeah, so actually there's not so many men that are coming up to us after this set. It seems to all just be ladies flooding up. Well, you say that though. So, past- so wait a minute, I haven't finished yet. Wait a minute, <laughs> this is just getting spicy. Right, so what do you get? I was going to make it more spicy though. Cool. Right? I, 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 please indulge. Past few times we've been out, you've had guys come up to you and be like, Hey, look at your oh, eyes. Oh, it's happened a couple look times. Look at your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Googling over your eyes. To be so. fair, it's happened a couple times, yeah. To the point it's made me a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> just because I, I like I feel like putting my sunglasses back on because... What we but all it's, want it's, to know... it's invasive, though. It's like... Your right. eyes are amazing. <laughs> His eyes are amazing. They are, amazing. but like... come here. Like yeah, but like things. when you've got a guy on your face, like... <laughs> it's a bit scary. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, uh, listen, this, everyone wants to know this now. So, what have you offers of like naughty play? Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official com. You need the television app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Yo. Nolan Poland Records for underground classics. NoPolandRecords.com. Beatbox created. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Here we go, set it off. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London or central as you need to be, <laughs> choose to be. You're ever free, but you you need to be here, trust me. Hold tight, pirate.com, 24-7 music, podcasts and dance studios all across the UK. Big shout out to nopolarecord.com and strainstation.co.uk for all of those special needs. Uh, yo, if you've got the television app, you know what time it is. It's sporting art 24-7 on your app. Free download, iPhone, Android. Oh, waka, waka, waka. Yo, we're inside the place right now with two people that I would go as far as to say are slowly, rapidly, and very more quicker than I'm suggesting becoming a, a bit of a social media sensation. Pyromania, it starts off on the radio station and uh, from there on in. In, um, seeing them every other rave, seeing them different clubs, seeing them on uh, X, Y, Z, and uh, it's not their first radio. They've been doing it for a minute. The couple, the, the awesome, the vocal dexterity of drum and bass and beyond. We go by the name as Stars and Deezer and hey. <laughs> yeah, Thank you for having us, man. Yo, man, it's, it's a, a pleasure. pleasure. Yeah, man. Mm. Uh, the other week, uh, we had the I had the privy of hanging out with you guys before, during, and after your set. Yeah, you guys turn it out in a different kind of way. It's like yeah, yeah. well, we've been we have been doing this thing for a little while. You know, it's one of them typical scenarios where sometimes people that are just hearing about us, they think, oh, where did they come from? Mm-hmm. Like, I've just found out about them, or if they just just come into the scene like now, we have been yeah, around for been a, around minute. a minute. Mm-hmm. But it's the same as everyone, mm-hmm. you know. When when someone starts to really be making waves. There's a lot of people that don't know about them. And when they do find out, they think, oh, this person just come out of nowhere. But no, no. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, about. someone's been doing it about ten years at least. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. The 10,000 hours, like, you got to yeah. reach that point, man. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. And making it look easy, it's as if, like, you've impacted and you just landed. But actual fact, you know what I mean? Like you say, it's taken that amount yeah. of time yeah. to get that yeah. good yeah. in a it's short It's a long space. road yeah, and it's not easy. No one ever said this thing is easy, man. And um, mm. we ha- it has its ups, it ha- has its downs. Mm. But, you know, it's, it's the perseverance that counts. That's it. Yeah. Uh, I, and I'd like to kind of start proceedings on this conversation with, with basically an outline of what you guys feel like you had to do to get to this point. Because mm. like you say, yeah. it's, it's kind of... St- standard practice for artists nowadays to suddenly be rediscovered yeah almost as if it's like oh well, where have you been for the last mm. 10 years or yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? but so what have you had to do to get to this place where you are what's been the trigger well do you know what we've had it's weird over the last maybe five years we've had several triggers actually mm-hmm. so that's something else we've discovered everyone's always looking for that one thing to happen to them mm. that one thing oh i'm going to get that record mm. deal oh i'm going to get on this station i'm going to do this i'm going to do that Nah. Really? <laughs> you yeah. have that one thing that opens a door. You then have to step through that door and then another thing comes and opens another door mm. and another door before you start to actually feel like you're making that progress. Mm-hmm. So our first door, I think, is when we started the record label. Really? Yeah. yeah. So we'd, we'd actually got a logo. We decided, right, now it's time to... So at first we were uh, Diesel and Stars. Mm-hmm. That's what we used to go by. Um, and then we decided we wanted to just have a bit of a rebrand. So we thought about 
like changing our names. We thought about all sorts of different ways we could go with it. And we just decided to flip the names around to start yeah. and teaser. Yeah. Right. Hey, simple things. It's the real deal. Really yeah. simple things. We thing. literally, as Star said, literally, there was ideas of actual name changes yep. and everything. And everything. How high were you when you came up with this <laughs> idea? You know what's happening? They're just sitting there clutching. Well, do you know what the funny thing was? So on our social media platforms, we actually always had it as Stars and Deezer because it looked better. Mm. So if you wrote Deezer and Stars, it looked like Deez and Stars. So it didn't look right. Mm -hmm. So on all our social media platforms, we actually had it as Stars and Deezer anyway. So we decided, you know what, maybe we should just run with that. Mm. Then one, literally one drunk Christmas Eve, we were at our (laughs) friend's house who was a graphic designer and we told him we needed a logo. Uh, Within like 10 minutes of him cracking the the software open, had a logo for us. Yeah. And that's... The yes, logo. Yes, yes. Play, please put this over here. So if you're not uh, well, this one not I have got a massive one on my t-shirt. There's a huge one on the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, yeah. this is it. This is independent artistry at its finest. Always bring a sticker, obviously for the <laughs> Killer Killer podcast. Of uh, but but more more importantly, and it was it something that we did joke about before uh, switching on was the whole idea. Wait, we really should get business cards. It's the the business cards, yeah. the stickers, mm. the branding. It's like this is beyond. It's from twenty twenty two and beyond. It's yeah. like you have to be so incredibly self sufficient. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just be mm. ready. Yeah, you? it's mm. not just about the art anymore. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. you know, as much as we'd love it to just be about the art. We've, there's so many more things that you've got to push. And as an independent artist, mm. you know, you have to do all those things yourself. Mm. Yeah. You don't have agents and managers and, you know, you're not paying people to get mm. your stuff out there. You've mm. got to do it all yourself. Mm. Yeah, that's right. And those so, agents, they, you know, like, and marketing people and the people that pay for your general branding and direction like that, that, that want a, uh, they, they, they want a retainer and a fee mm-hmm. for doing mm. it. Mm. Mm. You might as well learn yourself. Yeah, yeah and they yeah, might yeah. push you in the direction you don't even want to go in. Yeah. So. Do you know what? Quite a few of our friends, they've got other people that do stuff for them. And I've said to them a couple of times, learn to do it yourself. Because if you ever lose that link with that person, mm. you're going to be stuck. You're not, mm. they've, they've done everything for you the whole time. Mm. So if, if you don't know how to do it yourself, then when you, if, if and when you lose that connection with these people that are running various things for you, whether it be your, your Instagram or your Facebook or mm. your branding or this or that, if you lose them, you, you lose the knowledge as well. Yeah. So that's why we've taken everything into our own hands, to be honest. And um, as Stars was saying, one of the main triggers was starting the record label, but, mm. and also but mainly we, the brand, yeah. Yeah, so we got the, we got the brand. So mm-hmm. we had that down. We were like, sweet, okay, mm-hmm. we got that down. Mm-hmm. Um, then we realised we hadn't actually released any music that we can sell. All the music we released were like free downloads on, on uh, mm. SoundCloud and stuff like that, or mixes. That's all we'd done. So then we're like, okay, well, how do we do that? How mm-hmm. do you just release music? And we'd gone down all the different, there's loads of different mm-hmm. independent routes you can do it. And we looked at, looked at loads of them. And we decided the best one for us was to actually start a label. So just mm. start a label, right? And everyone goes, oh my God, like, what, you, how hard is it to start a label? It depends on what you want to use it for. Yeah. We just release our own stuff on it. Yeah, you know so. What? Shout out. Uh, DJ Blackley, because yeah. it was actually his Blackley words of wisdom that um, he told us how easy it is to start a label, sort yeah. of quickly told us how you do it. We went away to America, we came back with a big game plan, and um, we came home and we set up this record label. And it was yeah. really easy. It uh, was. Um, I've got to say, if we can set up a label, anyone out there, if you're really yeah. serious about making music, releasing music, you can just go online, you can just set up a label, mm. and then you can just, we just use our label as our avenue to release all our own music. At this point, can I just say, aren't they just the coolest two? You know, <laughs> these guys, they're, just, they're just so like, I, I, want, I, I need to get a bit more into this, uh, a plan from coming back from the States. You're obviously on yeah. tour doing something that's, you know, when you go to America, there's this honeymoon period of like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can do anything, we're in America. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then you land and you're ready, you're mm. energised. But there still is that thinking about it and doing it. Like, you know, what did yeah. you mind map that shit? What did you do? Well, I'll tell you what, another thing, another trigger to be honest. Him, okay, okay. When, uh, just before we went to America, I say just before, about eight months before we went to America, I broke my ankle. And we had been busy doing what we do, uh, as Stars were saying, we'd been sort of making some music, nothing that we'd actually released or, or, or like, officially. Um, then I bust my ankle and I had six, eight weeks lying on, lying on the no, sofa like doing, three months doing the absolutely end. nothing. Yeah, just, what, just what did you do to bust your ankle? Oh, uh, we went to a trampoline park for Stars' birthday. birthday. This is already <laughs> sounding great. <laughs> we, we drank some champagne. It was her birthday morning. We drank some champagne, went to the trampoline park and uh, me and my son were messing around and the, during the safety briefing, mm. we were messing around, laughing and joking. Then we went out on the trampolines. 
And uh, Stars stood on this platform and did Can the I front Can I just say, flip. he just he mocked the safety briefing as well. Really? That's like, what I'm saying, yeah. We were laughing stuff. and joking through it. And then I copied her. I stood on this platform, did the front flip, kind of landed straight on my feet, but instantly just felt and heard this crack. And I sort of dropped to my bum. And then That's as great. I lift, lifted up my That's leg, so my foot was just all floppy. Oh. Yeah, and so, so literally, it had, dis- like it had dislocated and, and snapped in like three or four places. Three or four places. Yeah, it was really bad. Yeah, I've got metal plate and uh, about fifty screws in my ankle now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it was really bad. So don't mess around with trampolines, people. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Customs must be a nightmare for you, bro. Do you know what? Actually, it's not. There was one time we went through, and stars. Uh, she was on the other side, and she saw like what the security guys see, and there was a big sort of glow down on my ankle. Really? Um, and yeah, obviously I came through and I actually had some paperwork with me as well. I think this is when we were going yeah. to America or coming back. And so I showed him and I said, yeah, look, you can see some of the screws through my skin. Yeah. I ain't got no strap down my sock. Yeah, so they were cool with it. So. <laughs> so cool. So you can see the bolts in your, your yeah, leg like that? it's not as cool as it sounds. Really? They need to it come does out. look pretty bad, though. Does it look... Yeah. Can you see it, like, print through it? I'm just really intrigued. Though. You can just see some lumps, basically, in the yeah. skin. You can see oh. some lumps and they're super, super sensitive. So that's kind of my kryptonite. Yeah. Yeah. But, basically. Yeah, so you broke your ankle. Yeah. And then... So I broke my ankle. Yeah, we're getting off track. So I broke my ankle and then I had a good good long period to just sit around, do absolutely nothing, watch loads of Breaking Bad and stuff like that, and then just think about a plan. And, you know, because especially in this music game, when you take some time out, you can disappear into nowhere. Like, you've mm. got to keep the, yeah. stay full throttle nearly all the time. Mm. You can't really take your foot off the gas. So anyway, we took quite a, a, some time um, out of the game whilst I was healing up. And, yeah, basically came back with this, this plan and we basically finished all these unfinished projects. We planned a load of music videos and as these things were coming together um, it worked perfectly with when we went to America we went to America we did a, a gig out there and of course out in Los Angeles you see all these hundred thousand dollar cars you see mm. all the people living the high life yeah proper high life and so yeah. it really really inspired us yeah like do you know what we really want to push hard for this thing now if, if we feel like if we're going to make some big money in this life it's going to be through our music mm. and so it really inspired us to be like right do you know what? let's let's get back to england and let's get get things moving man so we came back and that was the, the, the time we were like, well, there's never a better time now to start the label. So we started the label. We instantly had some tunes that were finished because mm-hmm. just before we went away, we'd been finishing these projects. So we had some stuff finished and then we just started releasing. And then it's basically been a kind of nice constant stream from there, really. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you think that, I mean, it sounds to me like in the back of your creative mind, you're like, oh, how long is it going to take before I get better? I can't hurry up. Mm. But then also there is this... Reinvention that's yeah. in play as well. Yeah, that was it. Everyone, my friend Rick, big up Rick. He always says, you know, everyone has their time in the sun, mm. and the same way everyone has their time in the shade. Yeah. so you got go away to come back a little bit. Yeah, you? definitely. Yeah. You know I mean? mm. Definitely. It's, I think that's really important in any aspect of life because mm. if you're just going at it full throttle, you will burn out. Yeah, you just will. Yeah. I yeah. think one of the 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 weird silver linings of that situation was it was it was a forced period out. Rather yeah. than, if you opt, if you say, right, you know, I'm going to take a bit of time out and reinvent myself, maybe you're putting too much pressure on yourself to, to come back with that plan yeah. because you've specifically taken the time out so you come mm. back with something. Where it was a bit forced on me, um, we had no other option really yeah. and, and I think that really gave us the time because we didn't know. The other thing is we had a friend that lived nearby um, that had a studio like out the back in their garden. And so even whilst I was on my crutches with a, with a big cast on and stuff, every Tuesday we were going down there and we were doing the Stars and Deezer show. Yeah. I was sitting Come in the chair on. like this, yeah. leg up in yeah, the air. Yeah, big up Tree Man for that. <laughs> yeah, and that kept us going as well. That really kept us going because it kept us connected with our people, our followers. It also kept us sort of, we had something to do. Yeah, yeah We weren't just completely mm. locked away active. out of the music. Yeah. yeah. So every week, literally every week on a Tuesday, we did our Stars and Deezer show. And then from there, we kind of took it to Pyro Radio. So we really stepped up from there. Yeah, that really was nice. Did, yeah. And that's become quite a, a beacon of um, attention. Mm. And stuff like TikTok Pyro. Big, again, big up yeah, Pyro. Yeah, big up Pyro. 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 Um, yeah, they, they've become this beacon. And, and it, it seems to me, uh, not only, I guess, through your live streaming and being mm. present on a week. I don't know, you're just moving differently. 
Uh, you're moving differently. <laughs> well, we, we, we try to. We've always tried to move a bit differently, you know. When everyone's going down this route, we'll go sort of down that route, but this way. Mm, just <laughs> do, it, do it our own yeah, way. Yeah, just do it our yeah. own way. Because it's, you know, well, I'll be real with you. When we first started, we fell into that trap of like following everyone else, sounding mm. like everyone else, copying what everyone else yeah. is doing because it works. Shit don't work though, after a while. Exactly, yeah. after a while, mm. it's it, it dies. So I think the most, you know, what we found is building that thing and it takes ages mm. to actually build your own thing, especially mm. in music because it's so easy, easy to get influenced by whatever mm. you're listening to. Mm. But spending that time to build our thing and just create the sound that we've created mm. and create do what we do you know with lockdown and stuff mm. that was fantastic for us that even was though trigger, even so, though yeah, yeah that was another one of our triggers yeah. even though it was a pretty horrific time for the world mm. we used that time to go do you know what well, this is what we do we make music we love doing, music yeah. Yeah? yeah we spit bars to drum and bass yeah. yeah so let's get some drum and bass tunes and spit some bars to them <laughs> so we did. That. That's yeah. literally what we did. Yeah. And then we were like, "Hang on, we can get other people can do this as well. People can do this at home. You can record something with with your white wall, your yeah, black yeah, wall. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it over. Hey, look, we're here. It's, yeah. it's exactly what, I mean? what we're doing. We're doing. So uh, and then yeah, and because so it was that that kind of it's just that want to to do it. It's not even necessarily yeah. to do it differently. It's just that want to to actually do it, which then gives you the drive to find that thing to. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Gives you that drive there, to. There was one other person. Yeah that really, really, really stood out to us through lockdown because the amazing thing about lockdown is how the, the playing field was just levelled mm. for everybody. Yeah. It didn't matter who you were, yeah. Mm. And yeah, it was like a bomb had dropped on the music scene. And we said to, we said to each other, do you know what? Um, we had, we had le- uh, emails come from our label saying everything's messed up, but they're still working from home. So we can still release music, things can still go out. Um, we had, because uh, we were sending a lot of our music to BBC Introducing, we had emails from the presenter down there, Melita Dennett, big up, uh, BBC Sussex, BBC Surrey. And uh, they emailed saying they're still doing the show, sometimes remotely, but we can still submit music, this, that and the other. So we kind of was like, do you know what? Everything is actually the same apart from the, the live performances. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we can just continue because we've got a studio at home. We've got cameras and similar setup to this and we've got green screens. And so we said, you know, and we've got each other, most of all. Mm-hmm. So we said, do you know mm-hmm. what? Let's just carry on. Let's just plough through. And so that's exactly what we did. And there was one other person that stood out to us that had the similar vibe. And we took a lot of inspiration from that, from the dedication and motivation. And that is Skibbity. Mm. R.I.P. Yeah, well, Skibber, and you know what? I he love, killed it on that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Every single week. I mean, in fact, more than every week. Yeah. He yeah. was doing it was live daily, streams. was it, at one point? Yeah. yeah. Breakfast with Skibbity yeah. and all yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so big up to Skibber. Big love. Oh, rest in peace, Skibber. Yeah, man. Oh, man. And so, and just the, the, the motivation, the dedication that we saw him have con- to continue doing that. Because, you know, he wasn't getting paid for that. No. We weren't getting paid for our lockdown. You know, so it was, that was really where, if you loved it, you put in that yeah. time. It separated the cat amongst the people. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people also, gone. just disappeared. That's what I was going to yeah. say. Also, there was quite a lot of people. I was like, oh, you yeah. know, lockdown's finished now. And I'm like... Like not in a disrespectful way, but mm. like you disappeared because you, gone. you didn't keep up. <laughs> yeah, you didn't keep up, yeah. and it's yeah. not. Unfortunately, again, it's if it's it depends on how you look at it. It's bittersweet. So mm. for the people that are just focused on, they only do live performance. When the live performance is taken away, taken away, like there's nothing there for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, it was, as I say, bittersweet. It was sweet for us guys who are who are doing everything all the time. We'll do anything and everything. Mm. Um, so. The reason I, the reason um, lockdown did so much for us, I think, is because we just thought, you know what, we're going to run with this. Mm. We are going to run with this for the first time in our lives. Literally, we can just go, right, well, here we are. No fear. Yeah, yeah. here we are. Yeah. This is what we're doing, yeah, boom. And anyone can see it. Yeah, it kind of you know? replenished, the, it replenished the ground, didn't it? And it yeah. gave way to a, a, new, um, a new method in promotion. Exactly. And, yeah. yeah. I mean, since That's lockdown, I mean. <laughs> everywhere we've been, people have said about how much we smashed it through lockdown. Mm. Mm-hmm. And it's funny, sort of going back to what Stars was saying earlier, we just did us. We just did what we do. We didn't specifically think, right, okay, we're going to use this opportunity to excel further or level up or none of that stuff. We literally were just like, do you know what? Let's just do us. Let's just keep putting yeah. out music, keep connecting with fans. Um, we built our fan base by 20,000, 30,000 or something yeah. through lockdown. That's amazing. Mm. Just because, yeah. you know... Organic as well, completely yeah. organic. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We fell into the trap of like sponsored posts and all that on Facebook. Um, 
I mean, for some people it works, but for us it didn't, to no, be it honest. It just, work. after we stopped we paying for the it, ads, <laughs> it just deaded our reach. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, it doesn't become organic. It's more like, hey, pay to play. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I you, mean, you, you'll pay, will you? All right. Oh, yeah. You pay. Well, you yeah, can yeah, pay yeah. forever. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, yeah, you want it. You want it, do you? <laughs> it's that shit, isn't it? How bad Proper. do you want it? Yeah. It does become a fruit machine. Yeah, yeah it yeah. does. So we stopped that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you, I feel you. So these were the main contributors that made the uh, the cause and effect of yeah. I think so yeah I'd say Brandon then label then lockdown yeah